Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Today we also commemorate the arrival of Blessed Gusto Takamaya Ukon here in Intramuros, Manila. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you, as one sings at festivals. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Please all stand. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. O Emmanuel, our King and Giver of Law, come to save us, Lord our God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? 
For at that moment, the sound of your greeting reached my ears. The infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon. Our Gospel for today, my dear brothers and sisters, is so familiar with us. Aside from we heard this last Sunday, we pray this in the second mystery of the joyful mystery when we recite the Holy Rosary, the visitation. And there are a lot of interpretations pertain to this visitation of our Blessed Mother to her cousin Elizabeth. Some would say that the visit of Mary is to console and help her cousin Elizabeth, who during that time was pregnant and at the same time may edad na. Some would even pertain to our Blessed Mother wanted to look for someone who console her also because she too was pregnant during that time and in a way trying to deceive her what the angel's message to her being the mother of the Savior. Regardless of what interpretations we have, we cannot deny the reality that Mary's visit generated an atmosphere of joy in Zechariah's home. The leaping of the baby in Elizabeth's womb reveals that the depths of Elizabeth's being recognized the Lord's visit and the promise of the one who will go before him. The voice in the wilderness, John the Baptist, sensed the presence of God. My dear brothers and sisters, the coming of Mary, who carried in her womb the Lord, invoked in Elizabeth the dreams and expectation of humanity. There is joy in the knowledge and conviction that the Lord is near and comes to visit His people. Today, in a special way, we commemorate the arrival of Blessed Hustu Takayama Ukon here in Intramuros, Manila. Born in Takayama Village, Osaka, Martyr of Christ, a Catholic layman of heroic virtue, was considered pillar of the early Church of Japan. He wanted to die and spill his blood for Christ, but it did not happen. He was sent here because he does not want to renounce his faith. After 
40 or 40 days here in Manila, he died without renouncing his faith. My dear brothers and sisters, when the Lord visits us, we are never the same people again. We recognize the beauty and the joy of His love and mercy. We too leave our nets and boats to follow Him. Blessed Kustu Takayama Ukon, apparent arrival in Manila, may not be a visit, but a product of his refusal to renounce his Catholic faith that proved his leaping of faith that carries with him the Savior. My dear brothers and sisters, this leaping is the fruit of our joy that the Lord has touched in us. The barrenness and coldness of life is revived by the warmth of His presence and love. At times, we do not recognize the visitation of the Lord because our heart is closed to His prompting. But then, in His time, we may be like Elizabeth, John the Baptist, Blessed Husto Takamaya, who exclaimed and leaped upon hearing the sound of new life. Christmas is coming while we await. May our hearts be on the watch and thrilled to be visited by Him. May we recognize Him when He comes. Please all stand. Elizabeth was honored by the visit from the mother of her Lord, but Mary only wished to share her joy. Let us bring our prayers to the Father who cherished these chosen women. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church be zealous in spreading the good news of salvation to all people, especially to those in far-flung areas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders should show special concern for the poor and the marginalized by their programs and services, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families and communities show gratitude for their individual and communal blessings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Mary, we as a community and as individuals strive to reach out to our neighbors who are in dire need of our material and spiritual assistance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead experience the joy of God's presence in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you manifest your presence among us in the generosity of our brothers and sisters, may we continue to proclaim your love by engaging in a life of service. We ask this 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your Church. For in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by His gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of His nativity, so that He may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in His praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of Your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest, please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. That is in memory of me. Please. 
Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, our joy, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection from your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant help in mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.